Hi guys and welcome to this Blender 2.8 tutorial. For today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can set up the basic glass material in Eevee. So starting off I have this simple scene that involves a plane, cube, a glass bowl, so this is the object that we're going to be applying the material to, and also if I go into rendered view you can see that I have a HDRI image now I got this from hdrilabs.com and this is going to help us better preview the effects of the glass material in Eevee now unlike cycles there are a few steps that you need to take before you can allow Eevee to actually create glass that you can see through so step one is going to be to create the base material for our glass bowl. So we're going to go down to the material tab and click new. And then we're going to set up the basic settings with the principal shader. So we want the roughness value to be set low, if not zero, so I'm just gonna set it at zero. We're going to want the transmission value to be set to one. And you can see that already has a profound effect on the material, but at the moment we can't see through it, it's simply reflecting the environment at this point. Now we're also going to change the index of refraction, so the index of refraction of glass tends to be 1.5 to 1.7 depending on the glass. So I'm going to set the index of refraction to 1.5 and then press enter. Now you can see that's had a minor effect on the glass, but not too significant at this point. And then step two will be to scroll down in the materials tab to where it says settings. And you're going to need to enable this option, which is screen space refraction. And you can also, as an optional extra, change the blend and shadow mode. So I like to use a blend mode of alpha blend. And you can already see that's having an effect on our glass material here. And I like to set the shadow mode to alpha clip. Then step three is to go to our render tab, enable screen space reflections, open this up and then enable refraction. This now allows us to see through our material as if it were a glass material. You might notice some artifacting going around the rim of our bowl, but that's not to do with the material itself, that's actually more to do with the modifier stack that I have added to this bowl. So for me, I would just simply rearrange my stack to smooth out the effect. So that's how you can get started with creating glass materials in the EV Render Engine. Thanks guys, and I will see you in the next Blender tutorial.